1609, Galileo used a newly invented optical device, the telescope, to view the sky. His observations showed celestial bodies like the moons of Jupiter, which did not revolve around Earth. Until that time, we believed that we were the center of the universe, and all planetary bodies revolved around us. Four centuries later, we fixed the lens of the Hubble telescope, and our satellites started sending back pictures of the cosmos. What was once a vast expanse of inky black now boasts brilliant colors and light, and it changed our very perception of our universe. But the beauty of those findings often overshadows the most critical discoveries the Hubble telescope has made, discoveries that help scientific progress along. Well into its third decade of operating, the Hubble has taken over a million observations. Perhaps the most incredible of them was pinning down the age of our universe. This was one of the main aims of the Hubble. Knowing the age of our universe isn't just a matter of curiosity. By understanding the time scale and the development of stars and galaxies, we can refine our understanding of how the universe formed and its expansion. We know now the universe is 13.7 billion years old. But how did we arrive at that figure? Scientists use Hubble to measure the brightness of Cepheid variable stars, a special kind of star that pulses on a set cycle. The set pulsing makes these stars ideal targets to help scientists measure great distances in the universe because they already know the inherent brightness of the star. The Cepheid star will appear dimmer if it is farther away, giving researchers an easy way to gauge how distant its host galaxy is to Earth. Hubble's findings are thanks to its position high above the atmosphere, removing obstacles on lookers on the ground face. Ultraviolet astronomy is impossible to execute from the ground, because gases like ozone block UV light. One out of the 1.4 million discoveries Hubble has made concerns our dwarf planet, Pluto. Pluto has five moons orbiting it. The smallest of them is P4, with an estimated size of 13 to 34 kilometers, or 8 to 21 miles. The biggest one, Charon, is 1,043 kilometers, or 648 miles across. In addition to identifying moons, Hubble has also successfully captured the first image of a planet in visible light, called Fomalhaut b. The planet is three times the size of Jupiter. Hubble has also peered into the atmosphere of alien planets and gathered data, giving us an understanding of how seasons occur in these planets. It tracked Jupiter's weather, allowing researchers to see color changes in the bands of clouds in the atmosphere. It also gave an incredible view of how comet Shoemaker Levi 9 impacted the gas giant in 1994. We witnessed Jupiter's gravitational pull rip the comet into fragments resulting in 21 visible impacts. The largest of them created a fireball that rose 3,000 kilometers or 1,800 miles above the Jovian cloud tops. It also made a dark spot over 12,000 kilometers or 7,460 miles across, which exploded with the force of 6,000 gigatons of TNT. These findings were only the start. The raging storm piqued public interest in astronomy and gave a valuable insight into Jupiter's atmosphere. And suddenly, these new findings of Hubble had a much larger audience. Hubble's vision has helped us solve mysteries about supermassive black holes and understand their abundance and influence on galaxies and the evolving universe. Einstein's theory of general relativity first described the characteristics of black holes as an event horizon swallowing light, which would prohibit telescopes from ever directly seeing such objects. In the early 1970s, the first black hole candidate, Cygnus X1, was discovered in X-rays coming from the superheated material swirling around a black hole orbiting a normal star. It is 15 times the mass of our Sun. When deployed, Hubble began sending compelling circumstantial evidence for the existence of gargantual black holes in our universe, some measuring millions or billions of times the mass of our Sun. Hubble also proved 
that the hubs of most galaxies contain enormous black holes, which have the mass of millions or even billions of stars. Not only do they reside in almost every galaxy, but somehow their sizes correspond. A black hole's mass is dependent on the mass of its host galaxy's central bulge of stars. The larger the galaxy, the larger the black hole. This could mean that black holes grow along with their galaxies, devouring a fraction of their host galaxy's mass. Hubble also provided astronomers the first ever views of material encircling black holes in large, flat disks, as well as detailed images of black hole power jets of subatomic particles traveling at nearly the speed of light. More recently, Hubble uncovered a concentration of small black holes at the heart of NGC 6397, which was previously believed to be just one supermassive black hole. Globular clusters like these are extremely dense stellar systems, which host stars that are closely packed together. These systems are also typically very old. The NGC 6397 is almost as old as the universe itself. It resides 7,800 light years away, making it one of the closest globular clusters to Earth. Because of its dense nucleus, it is called a core collapse cluster. The discovery also means that there's a possibility that mergers of these tightly packed black holes in globular clusters may be a source of gravitational waves. Such phenomena could be detected by the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory experiment, which is funded by the National Science Foundation and operated by Caltech in Pasadena and MIT in Cambridge. Hubble has provided us with valuable information, but it has also given us incredible images of galaxies far away, which regularly bring back the common person's interest in the vast universe. A spiral galaxy 120 million light years away in the northern constellation of Cepheus is a bit lopsided. The bright hub of the older yellow stars that generally take up the center of a galaxy seems to be offset to the upper left in the image. This is the NGC 202076, and NASA has linked its structure to a fried egg sliding off a pan. In reality, its neighboring galaxy is gravitationally tugging on its disk of blue stars, pulling the stars on one side of the galaxy outward to distort its appearance. This tug of war between galaxies that pass by each other is not uncommon in the universe. But like snowflakes, no two close encounters look exactly alike. The Hubble Space Telescope has six gyroscopes, only three of which are functioning right now after 30 years in orbit. Its orbit will remain stable until the 2030s, after which it will begin to decay and start its descent to Earth. It will burn up before it even touches the ground. As Hubble nears the end of its life, NASA is already working on its successor, the James Webb Space Telescope. It would be able to observe galaxies and stars formed just after the Big Bang, but it would sit a million miles away from us. Still, Hubble has some valuable observational time left, and there are plenty more breakthroughs and discoveries to come. <laughs>